Um, <clears throat> first of all, I got to give a, you know you got to give all the credit to the fans again. Come out and support their team. Uh, the, the fans are the best in the country, and this has become an event, and it, it really was an event. So let's look at the positive, because first of all, our prayers got to go out to Rick Ross. I mean, he left this morning, and uh, as he was flying, they had to divert the plane due to a seizure. Um, he called. He, they landed, as you saw all over the media reports. You know what was going on. He landed, and. He called us and said, "I'm, you know, after everything was cleared, I'm, don't listen to media reports. I'm on my way. I'm coming, and uh, I will be there." Uh, obviously, they ended up just getting a, a private plane. Now, during that time period, the positive is everyone was talking about the whole big thing was about Rick Ross. Every elite uh, R&B artist, hip hop artist, was talking about his, you know, the boss is okay. And they were all talking about Memphis because it was about Memphis. He's flying to Memphis, you know, and it created not just in the basketball world, but the buzz in, in, in TMZ and, and the civilian world, basically. That was the positive of, of that he was okay, got cleared. The fortunate thing is then uh, he leaves on his way here. He has a, um, a, a, another seizure, is what I, from my understanding. I don't have all the exact details, but another seizure in the air, and they had to make an emergency landing in Birmingham. So that's the negative in a sense that, you know, that we've got our, not about him not being here, that uh, a person had to go through that. So our prayers and thoughts are with him. And, uh, but you got to give it to, to Yo Gotti, who's the king of Memphis, to, I mean, where other, what other place in the country can you, you know, you have an A-list guy that, that doesn't, you know, due to his health can't come. And that on a phone call, on a whim of a phone call, you're able to call another A-list guy, the king of Memphis, Yo Gotti, to show up and perform. So everything was AOA today, adapt, overcome, and achieve. Um, and that's kind of how it was today, and that's what we had to do. And, uh, again, you got to give everyone credit, the staff, the, the, the administration, and the fans. What time did you call Gotti, and what time did the uh, was, – was he already coming? Or what was the deal? Um, and, again, you know, so how it all happened was this morning – we were driving, I was, we were, we, we were, had some things on campus and my phone started ringing like crazy. Late this morning, early, or early afternoon, late morning, ringing like crazy about, because it was getting out there about what happened to Rick Ross. And I was, man, I, we were talking to his people, you know, we were trying to find out what was going on, like more about, hey, is he okay? I mean, gosh. Then after all, then after everything kind of calmed down and we got word from, Ro from Rick Ross's camp and then Rick Ross calling us, saying that he's got things kind of died down and went back out he's flying here as we're coming up as we're driving here at about 6 30 we get a phone call saying uh they had to make an emergency landing in birmingham because he had another possibly seizure this is what we were told now it might not be a seizure; it could have been whatever it is but at this present time we understand it was a seizure and he had to be rushed to an emergency room and um and then so at 6 30 so then we're as that's happening, we're saying we're trying to see what's going on. Can we? Is he okay? I mean, what's the severity of it? Is it just? Is it the plane thing? We didn't know what was going on. I mean, this just happened. So then we were just concerned about Rick Ross's health. And I know I'm going long winded. I'm giving you the whole details that we were concerned about Rick Ross's health, making sure he was okay. So about 6:45, we're making change of plans and we're calling Yogati, and he was on his way to Little Rock. So we had a, so he, he did us an unbelievable favor because he loves Memphis so much. Did us an unbelievable favor. We had to go send uh, police to go get him because to turn him around and to get through the traffic, to have an escort to get him here. And he ended up getting here and things worked out perfect. And it was everything was done. And he, it was on live television. The whole entire script got, got, got just turned around and everything was done, was totally flipped. Everything was just out of order, out of sequence. I'm telling you what. I don't know if I'm a good coach or not, but I will not go on a TV production. That is not, I don't want any of your, I don't want to go on the media. I have no desire to do that right now. Wow almighty. I mean, we did everything on the fly. And I mean, all the people that, that are, my staff, the entire uh, uh, marketing staff and, and the administration, you got to give that University of Memphis Athletic Administration, the marketing department, and our staff so much credit for making things happen as it was. It was amazing. What was plan C? Plan C was for me to perform. I mean, literally, and if, no, honestly, we were talking about what happens if Gotti 
says no. Um, I was I was trying to make find out if, if I could go get Justin Timberlake, if we could get him on a private. Where was he at at the present time? Um, we were talking to Drumma Boy. I was trying to find out if 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 we need to go try to somehow go get is where's, go get a private pay, plane and pick up Little Wayne. Some I mean just go get some people, you know and. Um, Little that was Plan C, but we were I was working Plan C while Plan B was in motion. So I said, "This is Plan B. Okay, now let's get the Plan C in case that's a backup." <clears throat> I didn't have a Plan D. I can tell you that. Now let me talk on the basketball part. <clears throat> um, and again, <clears throat> I really do. Uh, Rick Ross has been great through this whole thing. So I mean, and what I told our guys, and this is for a lesson for every. It doesn't matter how much money you have or anything or fame or. You've got to take care of your health. Your health is so important. Always take care of your health for everyone out there. It's just you've got to take care of your health, and you never know. Life is so short. You just That's why you never know on unexpected things. But with the guys, it was a fun event. It was a fun evening. Um, uh, you know, I mean, obviously the scrimmage at the end, the whole part was I just didn't want to get any injuries. I just wanted to get us up and down a little bit for the crowd. But we start officially tomorrow. We will practice once tomorrow. We will practice twice, <clears throat> twice Sunday, twice Monday, twice Tuesday. I told our team tonight, hey, we've been and we guys have been doing a really good job in our workouts and individual workouts prior to this. I said it's it's on. I mean, there's you know this is your this is for you guys and the fans, but it's on from this point forward. What time do you go tomorrow? We go at 11:30 to two. How important was this night for the University of Memphis as a whole because they're struggling with the football team? And just talk about like them having something to look forward to. Yeah, I mean it was a, it was a great energy night and it was positive and it was upbeat and it was good for everybody involved. I mean it's important. I mean, John, you know, I mean there needed to be a little momentum, some positive momentum because there's a lot of good things about about the athletic department that not everyone gets to know. And this was a great opportunity there for people to see how great the athletic department is for them to be able to do things on the fly like that. Did you? Was there a reason behind not introducing the coaching staff? You know, I, cause I didn't or just forget. No, it, it, we we was two things. One, I didn't want it to be about me or the staff. I didn't I didn't want that. I didn't want it because it's about the players. So that was my decision. And the second part is 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 um, you know it just th that's just not it's just not me to go out there and it's just not my style. It's not me. So Toot your own horn. Right? I, I don't want to do that. I don't need to be. You know, it's about the players. I'm not the one putting the ball in the basket, grabbing rebounds or getting assists. Ask you a question about the